Comparators confuse people, and it is my personal goal to teach as many people as possible how they work, because it's in the name, and it's pretty simple. When you've got a comparator, they'll match a signal strength behind them. 14 in the back, they'll put 14 out the front. Unlike a repeater, which will take any signal strength and bring it back up to a full strength 15. Comparators match the exact number that they've got behind them. And what they do is compare that signal with the ones in the side. If it's stronger, it'll turn off. That's it. If it's the same signal strength, also 14, it'll stay on. Or if it's weaker, 13, it'll stay on. So really, all that matters is a stronger signal in the side will turn it off. And it always just looks at the stronger one. Even if you have two signals going in, the stronger one overrides it. Something simple that this might be used for is say you have a melon farm that you want to stop when the chest gets halfway full. So we have a signal strength of 8. But let's actually test this in the way that it would be working, where we've got 7 beforehand, and we'd want this to be off at this point, right? So we know we need a stronger signal in the side. We can actually take a composter and get that pretty simply. Throw some cake in there to get one level at a time, and it'll get a signal strength of 8, which turns it off. And once we get that extra stack of melons in there and the chest is halfway full, we can stop the farm, because we don't need that many, for whatever reason it is. There's something else we can do with these too. The torch on the front, you might know, we can click on to turn on and off. And that actually puts it into subtractor mode, which at first looks like it's running pretty much the same. When we put a stronger signal in, it'll turn off. But if we put the same signal in, it'll also turn off. It's subtracting the signal from the side, actually. So if we put a weaker signal in, 13 here, 14 minus 13 is 1. And same as before, a stronger signal will always override it. But we can actually change our setup a little bit over here to get a different sort of output. Instead of a stronger signal strength that we might want to use as dust to send along, we can make this a subtractor and get a weaker signal strength out of it. So now, when this reaches a signal strength of 9 in the back, it'll just output 1, which means you'll need a repeater or something else to take it, but if you're doing something more compact, you might want weaker signal strength in general. Subscribe for more daily redstone tips, and check me out on Twitch too! Join the Discord!